Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll be discussing some questions on error analysis of systems. So here we have uh, the first question. So it has been given that the open loop transfer function of a unity feedback system is given by this gs is equal to 50 by 1 plus 0.1 s into 1 plus 0 1 plus 2 s okay 2 s so it has been asked to find out the steady state error determine the steady state error for unit step unit ramp and unit parabolic input so here there are some things that you have to uh, be you know aware about careful about first it has been mentioned that it is a unity feedback system which means hs is equal to 1 okay that is very important because the method that we are discussing it is only applicable for unity feedback systems <coughs> sorry for non unity feedback systems there is a different method which is a bit complex and complicated we will discuss first we will be discussing the unity feedback systems this is the open loop transfer function. I have already discussed what is open loop, what is closed loop transfer function. So this is the open loop transfer function just given directly because HS is equal to 1. So no, uh, no, there is no reason why you should write it GS HS because it will be the same thing. HS is equal to 1, it will be equal to GS okay? because HS is equal to 1. So this is the open loop transfer function. So when it has been asked to find out steady state error for unit step, unit ramp and unit parabolic. You have to write out the basic formats. So we know RT is equal to AT, okay, the general format. Here it is unit step which means A is equal to 1, it is simply equal to T, A equals to 1. That is important. For ramp, uh, sorry, this is AUT for step input, this is for ramp input okay this is ramp then for step it is rt is equal to a ut a is equal to 1 so simply it is equal to ut that is equal to 1 so here also a equals to 1 then for parabolic the general format is half at square here a is equal to 1 so it is simply half T square this a equals to 1 so this is also important because the formula in which we have to determine the steady state error there this a comes into play so please watch the introductory video related to error analysis where I have discussed everything okay how error analysis is done what is the meaning of that the error constant method everything okay so first for uh, the steady state error due to step input. So when that comes into play, first we have to determine the position error constant or step error constant. Both are the same that we have to determine Kp. Okay, we know Kp is equal to limit s tends to 0 gs gs hs or gs here the same thing because hs is equal to 1 so that is equal to limit s tends to 0 we have to put this open loop transfer function that is equal to 50 by 1 plus 0 0.1 s into 1 plus 2s. So here it will be 50 limit s tends to 0, we will substitute s with 0, 1 plus 0 0.1 into 0 that will be equal to 0, 1 plus 2 into 0, 2s 2 into 0 will also be equal to 0, so it will be 0. So it is equal to 50 by 1 into 1 which is simply equal to 50. So here the position error constant or step error constant kp is equal to 50 okay then the steady state error due to step input that is equal to a by 1 plus kp 
we have derived it in the previous video. So here we will substitute the values, it is a unit step, so A is equal to 1, Kp value we have calculated is equal to 50, 1 by 1 plus 50 which is equal to 1 by 51. So this 1 by 51, its value, it is coming around 0 0.0196. Okay, 0 0.0196. This is the steady state error due to step input. So that we have obtained. Next is for ramp input. <coughs> steady state error due to ramp input. So when that comes into play, we have to determine the velocity or ramp error constant or coefficient. Kv. Okay, Kv is equal to limit s tends to zero, s gs. Okay, so it will be equal to limit s tends to zero, s into fifty by one plus zero point one, s into one plus to s. So that will be equal to, we will substitute every s with 0, it will be equal to 0 into 50 by 1 plus 0 0.1 into s which is equal to 0, 1 plus 2 s that is equal to 0, so 1 plus 0. So this will be equal to 0 into 50 by 1 into 1 which is equal to 0 into 50 that is equal to 0. So, the velocity error constant kv that is equal to 0 the value. Now, we know that steady state error due to ramp input that is equal to a by kv. Here it is unit ramp so value of a will be equal to 1, kv value we have obtained which is equal to 0. 1 by 0 it is equal to infinity okay so the steady state error due to ramp input here the value is coming as infinity this this value is this 0 0.0196 here it is infinity next is steady state error due to parabolic input so for that first we have to determine the acceleration error coefficient acceleration or parabolic error coefficient or constant k k is equal to limit s tends to 0 s square g s ok that will be equal to limit s tends to 0 s square into 50 uh, same same transfer function 1 plus 0 0.1 s 1 plus 2 s that will be equal to 0 square we will simply substitute 0 50 by 1 plus 0 0.1 into s that is 0 0.1 into 0 which is equal to 0 and again 1 plus 2 into 0 that will be equal to 0 so it will be 0 square which is 0 into 50 by 1 which is equal to 0 into 50 again it is equal to 0 ok the acceleration error constant ok so again that is also equal to the k a equals to 0 and the steady state error due to parabolic input that is equal to a by k a here it is unit parabolic input that is why a is equal to 1 ok a is equal to 1 we have obtained here ok all the value it is unit so a is equal to 1 k is equal to 0 which we obtained here 1 by 0 again that is also equal to infinity ok so the steady state error due to 
parabolic input is equal to infinity. So, the only uh, finite value which we got here is this 0 0.0196 which is equal to the steady state error due to step input this. Okay. So, this is the basic format or method to approach any question related to error analysis. So, first you have to be very careful about what type of feedback system is given, whether it is unity or non-unity. For non-unity, there is a different method, we will be discussing that. For unity feedback system, first you have to be clear about the format of the open loop transfer function. Then, depending on what type of input it is given, you have to figure out the value of A, because that is also very important. Then, depending on the input value, you have to find out the error constants, position, velocity, acceleration. Then just put the value in the formula, whether a by 1 plus kp or a by kv, a by ka, that will give you the steady state error. Okay? So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to engineering, science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.